lesson on english now today we will learn present perfect tense which is the third form of present tense okay like uh, if you follow my previous lessons or previous videos you can see that i have already uploaded present indefinite tense or uh, simple present and present continuous tense also likewise today we will understand this present perfect tense everything is easy if you understand the basic concept of the roots of it so let's start with present perfect tense now this present perfect tense describes an action that began in the past this tense indicates the work which has finished just now or you can say the work has finished or still its action is there or um, it has just completed but there is no specific time mentioned for this particular tense now this is as i told you that this is the third form or the third part of this present tense it connects the present action with the past okay with various examples we will learn about this present perfect tense so let's begin now this present perfect tense can be used in various conditions like firstly to indicate the complete action in the immediate past okay like for example if i say he has just finished the work see here the work he has just finished the effect is going on okay just in the past or just in the immediate past the work is completed and its effect is still going on like if i say the train has just arrived so just now the work has been done the action has been done and still its effect is present so in that case we can use this present perfect tense secondly to express the past action whose time is not definite like for example if i say i have never seen him to be a politician see here there is no specific idea that when this man has taken the profession of politics okay so in that case we can use this present perfect tense like next example if i say mr john Uh, has been to london so here also no specific idea that when mr john uh, is been to london so we are not getting any exact time so in that case also we can use this present perfect tense thirdly to describe past events when we think more of there in the present times like for example if we say i have finished my homework so here also we can use present perfect tense now fourthly for repetitive actions like for example if i say i have performed here for many years see in this case our action of performing uh, has already started in the past we have already did this and it is still going on and if i say i have bought this medicine for many years in this case also this purchasing or this buying of medicine is still there previously we have already bought this medicine but still we are buying this medicine so in that case also we can use this present perfect tense lastly the action which is not completed yet like for example if i say um, the train has not arrived yet or he has not visited the museum here in the sentence the actions are not completed it is not finished so in that case we can use present perfect tense now the structure of this present perfect tense will be there will be a subject after that have or has uh, there will be auxiliary verb and after that the third form of the verb and there will be a extension of the sentence after that okay like for third person singular number we can use she has he has and rest we can use they have i have you have we have so now we will start with the sentences and we will understand the structure of this i have finished teaching here in the subject i am placing i in the auxiliary verb i am placing have in the third form of the verb i am placing finished and in the extension of the sentence i am placing teaching now next example rita has cut her finger here in the subject i am placing rita in the have or has i am placing has 
in the third form of the verb i am placing cut and in the extension of the sentence i am placing her finger now next example sita and geeta have done their homework in the subject i am placing sita and geeta in the auxiliary verb i am placing have in the third form of the verb i am placing done and in the extension of the sentence i am placing their homework now we will do few affirmative sentence negative sentence interrogative sentence and interrogative negative sentence based on present perfect tense like for affirmative sentence i am saying i have sung in the program okay just now i have sung in the program the action is still going on okay so this has a connection with immediate past so the affirmative sentence is i have sung in the program the negative sentence will be i have not sung in the program the interrogative sentence will be have i sung in the program like after completing the sentence i will put a question mark and here the auxiliary verb have is placed before i and in the interrogative negative sentence this will be have i not sung in the program now we will start the next example for affirmative the sentence will be shohini has taught present perfect tense the negative sentence will be shohini has not taught present perfect tense for interrogative sentence this will be has shohini taught present perfect tense and for interrogative negative this will be has not shohini taught present perfect tense now the examples of this present perfect tense are i have done the work the train has just arrived he has resigned from his work mother has started cooking we have played football so in all these sentences the action has just finished in the immediate past but still its effect is there so hope you have understood this present perfect tense always remember one thing that based on the subject the auxiliary verb will be placed and the third form of the verb which is compulsory that will be also placed in the sentence okay and there is no specific time we are mentioning in the present perfect tense the work is finished just in the immediate past and still its action is there so this is the basic root of the basic concept of this present perfect tense so let's do few exercise so that it will be more easy for you to understand let's start fill in the blanks by putting the auxiliary verb and also change the verb into the third form in the sentences one she dash go to school the answer will be has gone number 2 the man dash swim in the pond the answer will be has swum number 3 the boy dash throw the stone in the water the answer will be has thrown my grandmother dash weave a sweater for me the answer will be has woven she dash agree the proposal the answer will be has agreed the weather dash change suddenly the answer will be has changed the mobile dash ring twice the answer will be has rung the sun dash rise has risen i dash give him my pen the answer will be have given number 10 the cat dash bite the girl here the third form of the verb can be bit or bitten so you can place both the forms of the verb the cat has bit or bitten the girl now we will make few interrogative and interrogative negative sentence from this affirmative sentence based on this present perfect tense let's begin i have 
kept vegetables in the refrigerator the interrogative sentence will be have i kept vegetables in the refrigerator the interrogative negative sentence will be have i not kept vegetables in the refrigerator number 2 reema has denied my proposal the interrogative sentence will be has reema denied my proposal and the interrogative negative sentence will be has not reema denied my proposal so hope you have understood this present perfect tense so next day i will come with present perfect continuous tense which is also very easy so as of now ending my class you all enjoy studying and practice more till then bye bye